Okay, let's take a couple of minutes to look at this statement of cash flows in greater detail, and then I'll uh, get into an example that brings all this together. So the statement of cash flows is uh, broken into three sections. The uh, cash from operations, which you already have seen, it includes, uh, it starts off with uh, the cash from net income, and then makes adjustments up or down related to whether or not customers are uh, paying us this month or whether they're paying us uh, later and then adjustments up or down depending on uh, accounts payable, whether we are paying our suppliers this month or whether we are delaying payments to suppliers. The second section is cash from investing, and uh, this is uh, investments that the company makes. This is not investments that others uh, make in the company. So the company can make investments through uh, by buying a building, or by buying equipment, and those things are then used for the company to generate uh, additional cash. Cash from financing is where we get uh, bank loans and also where outside investors will purchase a stock in the company. So here's a quick example with numbers so you can see how this uh, adds and flows. So net income, let's say $5,000 of profit this month. Accounts receivable went up, which adversely affects our cash. Accounts payable also went up by $2,000. And when accounts payable goes up, that improves our cash position. And then we subtotal this, 5 minus 4 plus 2 is $3,000. Uh, we spent $15,000 uh, on a piece of equipment, so cash going out. And so total cash from investments is minus 15000 And then we took a bank loan of uh, $10,000. So 10000 came from the bank. That's cash in. And uh, we also had a founder put in an additional $25,000 worth of cash. Therefore, cash from financing is a plus $35,000. Then what we do is we total... Uh, each of these three sections here. And so 3 minus 15 is minus 12, plus 35 should be $23,000. Uh, cash at the beginning of the period was zero, and therefore cash at the end is also $23,000 with a double underline, oops, a double underline to show uh, that we're at the end. I hope you can see that the statement of cash flows tells a pretty clear story of the comings and goings of the cash in the period. It does take a bit of practice though, particularly things like accounts receivable, which seem to be a little counterintuitive. But as you're going through it, just make sure that you're asking yourself the question, is, the, is more cash coming in or is more cash coming out? If cash is coming in, then it's a positive value like here. And if cash is going out, like when we spend money on equipment, then it's a negative value. If you if you keep stick by that rule of thumb, that'll help you uh, get through this. And then, of course, you should just be practicing uh, looking at your statement of cash flows every single month. Well, you're just about to graduate, so one more uh, video where we bring this all together, and uh, then you're done. Way to go.